Hi, welcome back to Emily Does It Herself, the channel where I do home repairs to show you how to do it and save yourself money. Today, we are going to be changing out a vanity light, uh, the light above the mirror in your bathroom. So I have already done one of them. Can you guess which one? <laughs> which one is the old one? Which one is the new one? So we're gonna get started. All right, first, we're gonna take out the bulbs out of this old fixture. And then, when I changed out the one yesterday, I noticed um, that these plates are extra. So they added them on there for extra decoration. So we're gonna get those off and unscrew this cap. There's this rubber washer and these glass plates come off. So I've already turned off my electricity down at the circuit box. Um, on a previous video, I showed you how to do that. And I had these lights on when I went down in the basement to turn it off, and then I came up and they are off, so we know that it's safe to work on this light. Okay, so once we have that off, we have these screws that are flathead holding on this brass plate. Normally I would like to donate things I'm changing out, but this one is pretty rusty and worn and I'm just not sure anybody would want it. Okay, so now I'll be able to get off this brass cover. And below we have um, the actual fixture with the wiring. And so underneath this is the electrical box. And you can see these two screws right here are holding this on. So now I need to take those screws off. Okay. my light and my wires and you can see that whenever this bathroom has been painted previously by a previous owner they did not pull this down and I would recommend anytime you paint you do kind of just pull this down um, and not paint around your fixtures <laughs> uh, we are going to be painting this bathroom so I'm not going to bother with fixing this right now what I will do when it comes time is I'll loosen my fixtures and paint behind it all right, so I just have to unscrew these nuts. And then be careful of the mirror underneath. <laughs> that one is undone. All right, old fixture is off. And now we're gonna work on opening the new fixture. All right, so I've opened up my fixture. I've gotten it out of the box. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna remove these. Oh, twist them on plastic nut things because what's going to happen is I have my glass shades and these will hold those on. So instead of putting it up there and then have to, having to take them off and then put the shade on and then put them back on, I'm just going to take them off now because it's easier. All right, those are off. All right, so I've opened up my light and this is the bracket that I need to attach to the wall. But first what I need to do is, it comes with these screws. And these screws are ultimately what's gonna hold the lighting onto the wall. So there's a decorative nut on the end. I'm gonna take that off and put it in a safe place. All right, and then you need to figure out, there's lots of holes in this, right? You need to figure out what holes match up with your lighting fixture because I'm sure that they mass manufacture these for several different lighting fixtures. I have already checked mine and I know that I need to put the screws in this hole and this hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have attached these long screws here and threaded the nuts on. What I wanna do now is tighten them really good because what I don't wanna happen is I don't wanna get this 
onto the wall and when I'm trying to attach my light to it, these screws just turn in place. Because if I do that, I'll never be able to tighten the lighting to the wall. All right, that top one is good and tight. Okay, so now it's time to get up there and attach this to the wall. Okay, so I have my bracket and I'm getting ready to attach it to the wall. So one of the most important things is to make sure that these two screws that hold on my light are vertical. I don't want to attach it and then be like this because then my light would be crooked. So I'm going to make sure those are vertical and I see where my screw holes are. This one in first and because these are kind of in slider holes we can move it around to make sure it's good and vertical before we tighten these up really tightly and I had to keep I'm reusing I'm reusing the screws that were on the old bracket because this new bracket did not come with any so all right so I've gotten my bracket on there nice and tight any movement you see is actually the electric, electrical box underneath. Um, I don't think it'll be an issue. <laughs> so now I've got my light up here and I'm kind of just going to rest it here on the mirror a little bit so that I can get these attached. So you see we have black wires and white wires and there should be also a ground wire in there, which I should have pulled out before I put the bracket in, but I think I can manage. Yep, there it is. All right. Okay, so black wire, white wire, and brown wire. So I'm going to start with the white wire. And I'm going to actually use this one. This lighting fixture came with little nuts. <laughs> I'm going to use these bigger nuts that we had on the old fixture. There's nothing wrong with them. those till there's not twisted anymore. All right, add the black to black. All right, that's gonna hold there. I need another nut for my ground wire, which is right here. And this one's fine to just use this small one because it's just two wires instead of three bulky wires. All right, and to give myself a little more room, I'm gonna stuff these back into the cavity. Okay, so I've gotten a lot of those wires stuffed back into that cavity. And now I've kind of just got to adjust these a little bit so they're not in the way of my posts. There's one. And there's the other. Okay, so I have my nuts that came with it. Hand tighten those. All right, there's one. Make sure it's level. All right, the fixture is on the wall. The next step is to add our glass shades. So remember, like I said, I took off these earlier. So now I just have to put that over there. That's good and tight. Now I have two more to go and then put in the light and turn the electricity back on and then we'll test it. The electricity is back on. Both lights are functioning and they look so much better. 
This has been another lesson from Emily Does It Herself. If you have a little confidence and a little knowledge, you can do it yourself too and save yourself some money. Let me know if there's anything you want to see me tackle and I will try and do it. Like and subscribe. Bye.